Hey everyone, we are here in Old Market Square in the heart of Winnipeg's historic exchange district. Today we're going to share with you a few of our tips for how to spend a wonderful 24 hours in one of our favorite parts of the city. For the Exchange District, we chose to stay at Mayor Hotel. It's a super cool, super modern boutique hotel right on Waterfront Drive. Our room even has a beautiful view of the river. You would barely even know you're right downtown. Regular mode? So it's seven degrees outside, it's chilly, but it's beautiful and bright. And we are here on this adorable patio, getting ready to have some hot boozy drinks. Oh, that's good. It warms the insides. I love the texture of the dumplings. I like the crispiness of the kale and then the creaminess of the sauce. It's so, so delicious. I highly recommend the Amsterdam Tea Room. The food is amazing. The cocktails are crafted perfectly. Every single time we've ever come to this place, we've loved it. One of the coolest things about the Exchange District and what makes it such a great place to explore is the mix of beautiful historic buildings lots of different types of modern restaurants, galleries, shops. There's just a ton of different things that you can do. It's a really unique part of Winnipeg. You have to check it out. Yeah, we are in the Exchange District, which is 20 square blocks of National Historic Site. Um, most of these buildings popped up between the 1880s and the 1910s, which is part of Winnipeg's boom period. One way to dive deeper into the Exchange District and learn more about its history is to take a walking tour with the Exchange District Biz. They offer several different options depending on your interests and all of them are super cool. Our guide was Sarah and we had a great time with her. shopping at Shop Take Care. It's a cute little shop here in the Exchange. There are two locations in Winnipeg. The other one is in Osborne Village. It's a great little place to check out for lots of different gifts and stuff. What's cool is that the owner here also designs some pieces of clothing that they have, so there's locally made stuff here also. The Exchange District is loaded with art galleries, and we took this opportunity to check out one of our faves, Urban Shaman, which celebrates contemporary Indigenous art. One of the things about doing an adventure like this is that we are in the middle of a pandemic, but one thing we've noticed since we've been down here is that people are really being safe. They're masking up, uh, sanitizing their hands, keeping distant, and all the restaurants and all the bars, etc., seem to be keeping people apart safely. So that's been great. Non Such Brewing Company is the perfect spot for chilling out after a day of exploring. They have a stylish tap room with a casual vibe. The food is innovative but comforting, the craft beers were fantastic, and the aesthetic was uber hipster. We loved it.
walking through Stephen Juba Park this morning on our way to Harrison Coffee Company. It's a new cute little coffee shop here on Waterfront Drive. Let's go check it out. Stephen Juba Park and the Riverwalk are totally worth checking out, especially if you can catch the fall colors. Taking a walk here was actually extra special for us because we hadn't really wandered this area before. There are plenty of places to grab a great breakfast in the exchange. One of our favorites is Lark Cafe and Bakery. Here you can grab a croissant and coffee to go or stick around for one of their amazing dishes. It even has a mini market where you can find lots of local and small shop wares. The exchange has an amazing vintage vibe, which means it's often the backdrop for movies like the Hallmark Christmas movie we stumbled onto. Merry Christmas, everyone. We are, to. We are heading to Patent 5, which is a distillery and tasting room, and we are here to see if we can buy a bottle of unique gin. Our name is Pat Five Distillery, and we have a number of different gins and vodkas that we make here. Uh, and the still is running actually right now. Uh, so we have uh, four or five different gins. Um, London Dry Style is our main gin. And then we have a Purple Blossom gin and a Manitoba Berry gin as well. Uh, the Manitoba Berry gin is uh, made with local Saskatoon berries. And it is in a Tom Collins style, so it's got a touch of sweetness to it. Oh, yeah. And the sweetness helps bring out the berry flavor. And we put the whole berries in, yeah. and then we pull the berries out. And the gin soaked berries are amazing, like just oh, to eat bet. straight. But what we do is we press the juice back into the back into the gin. Oh, that's delicious! It's yeah. very, very good, and it is sweet. Oh, I love that. I think we made a good decision. Mm -hmm. 